Hi Libras, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated reading for, for, for career, finances and health. Cheers my darlings. Now these are general messages. Not everything will resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. I have also posted your dedicated love reading for your current love and your future love. Subscribe to my channel and watch those readings. Please find out where your Venus is in your chat. Venus rules you. It also rules love. It also rules money. So be sure to subscribe. Join my little channel on YouTube. I would be so grateful to have you as a part of my family. Now, I'm going to be setting intentions for your health, career, and your money. Manifest your dream job, your dream health. Your dream career goals with me. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Libras, let's start. The first part of this reading is about your current health, career, and money situation, okay? Let's be spirit. Libras. Libras. Excellent. Trust your instincts. Now, if this is for career, if there is a nudge that tells you that, you know, you need to do this or you need to not to do that, trust it. If it is about your health, which is telling you, get this checkup, do it. Impasse. Now, when I, this card comes out, this talks about the hanging man where there is nothing moving. You know, this is asking you to take a break from something. To put yourself in suspended, you know, in suspension. This could be talking about a Pisces that you're dealing with. Now, if this is for career, break if you've been pushing too hard. If this is for health, do the same. <clears throat> and while you are in the hanging man position, you're not dreaming of rainbows and skittles. You are finding another way to look at something. And very interestingly, you know, I'm again getting that word perception, which has shown up three times in cards, okay, in your love reading. Watch that reading, Libras. Now, this is asking you to take a break from something, whether this you're doing something in excess for your health. And I also think some of you are stuck in a situation where you do not, two of swords, you don't know what decision to make. This stuck energy here in somebody's career. Now, I hope that some things that you're doing are not creating a block in your abundance. I want to put this out there too. Gratitude. You know, there's somebody who's pregnant here. Some of you are going to fall pregnant. I'm going to put this out there. For those of you who want to, congratulations. On the other hand, this talks about gratitude. You know, change your attitude to an attitude of gratitude. Maybe that's where this, this blockage is. I feel there's a blockage of somebody's abundance. It will just clear out. And I feel with the heart being here, this talks about fifth house energy, which is Leo energy, creative projects. Be, be in an what can I say, in a vibration of thankfulness. And these projects will come through faster. And I know there's an impasse where things are blocked. They'll open up. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's a pet project of yours, maybe a friend, and you could be starting something which is close to your heart. Some of you got birthing something brand new in work. And I want to set this intention for you as well. It's possible. Do not worry, Libras. Now, let's go to your first message for your current health, career, and money. Okay, let's go. So my Libras, please, Spirit. All right. Now this card on the mountain comes up. It's a Capricorn. This talks about organizations, hierarchies, authority. Some of you are dealing with blocks from a higher authority. Now it could be a feminine figure. I have the moon. This is cancer energy. This is about, you know, a mother, a feminine figure, an older woman, it's a secretive. Somebody who's secretive, somebody who's hiding something, so also fears. Are you guys, do you guys have a female boss that you're scared of or somebody who's causing a lot of blocks? Look, if you've come here for some kind of a validation from me as to why is are there blocks in my career, okay? There is somebody who is in a very higher position. I mean, the mountain talks, it's Capricorn. It's about, you know, authorities, government, there's a secret or there is somebody who is in a feminine energy who is posing these blocks, you know, these obstacles, these blockages. And I'm so sorry to say that. Perhaps you can go around it. Now the card of loyalty. It's a number 18. If this number means anything to you, you've been loyal. 
Okay. I don't know if somebody is questioning your loyalty at work. I want to put this out there. I want to put this out there. And let me tell you, they've been questioning your loyalty by creating a lot of obstacles in your path. You're going to win. You're going to win. And this is Uranus in Aquarius. This is sudden. Aquarius also talks about friendships, talks about small groups and organizations, your devotion, your obedience. You are going to come out as being loyal. And I feel, I don't know why I feel, somebody is trying to tag you as being disloyal. They're not going to succeed. They're not. They can write a message for you. And I don't know if they're secretively doing this. I also want to put this other message out for you. Can I? I hope that somebody that you think is loyal is actually keeping secrets from you at work. I want to put this out there. I don't know who this was for. Comment below. Let me know. Leave this, please. Thank you. Now I'm talking to a divine masculine here. It's a masculine energy. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sash. Look at all the red. Look at the glyph of Mars on his chest. Another card of purity. Okay. This is Virgo energy. Okay. This talks about um, somebody who's got such high integrity. That loyalty just is yelling at me, you know. This talks about somebody who's got such high morals, values, and standards. I don't know why I feel somebody's been persecuted at their workplace. And this is Chiron in Virgo. This talks about an open wound. Somebody who's so sound and ethical. Look, if somebody is questioning your loyalty, I'm telling you, you're going to be given the key. And this is your card, Libra. This is Libra energy, Venus and Libra. You are going to find that solution to overcome that mountain, to prove your loyalty. You are. You are morally sound and ethical and somebody is purposely creating blocks and they're questioning your loyalty. You've been tested, Libra, but I'm telling you, the solution is coming. I also feel somebody is going to be shown that the person that they were trusting at their workplace was the monster. And I'm so sorry to say that. You know, because this this energy of the Virgo energy, okay. Now, this is the sixth house, which is about work and health. So I also want to say, with this card coming out here, whatever obstacles you've had in your health, okay, you're going to find the solution. Uh, it could be hidden from you right now. And I know you're very scared about your health. Do not be Libra. Solution is coming. You'll be given the key. Solve this problem. To solve this problem, do not worry. And for those of you whose morality has been tested, you know, ethical, whether you are being ethical in your workplace, the solution is coming for that. Your loyalty is going to be like out there for the world to see. You know, and this card, the other low vibration of this card is somebody who, you know, you have the Madonna, the Mother Mary complex, and then the, sorry to say, but the promiscuous, you know, rhymes with sore, if you get it. With, it starts with a W. I don't want to say that word complex. So I don't know if somebody here is extremely feminine because it's also about a secretive feminine, you know, figure or a secretive relationship. And there could be somebody who's, who's, you know, vibrating from that at your workplace. Watch out for this. Watch out. Watch out for this. Your loyalty is being tested. You have, you are going to be, you're, you're going to come out blazing guns. You're going to find the solution, the key. You know, and for me, when I see the key, God, I also feel you're going to be given the key to success, Libra. It's going to be handed over to you. But watch out for somebody who's creating blocks, blockages, secrets. I hope they're not pretending to be your friend. I, that's what pisses me off. And I want you to take cognizance of that. Okay. There'll also be a woman who's meddling in your affairs at work. It's about your health. Do not worry, Libras. Don't worry. Take another deck, okay? It's my keeper deck. Libra, I first want to say that there is somebody falls at your workplace. I don't want to say anything else. This is occupations and this is false, false person. Look, and it's, it could be a feminine figure. I, Libras, go back and check some of my older readings on the channel about work or about your general readings. You'll see this message. Please take note of this. 
something is totally false. I don't know if they're using sex or they're using some kind of, you know, the lower vibration of the lily, I told you what it is. It's complete crap, you know, debauched. I don't know if they're doing something sexually to gather some favors. I don't know. But there is a false person at your workplace. Now, some of you could fall pregnant. Libras, this is a card of expectations. Okay? And I love to bring this message for you. This is also the card of waiting. Patiently waiting. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody who's been patiently waiting to get pregnant. You are going to get pregnant. And whatever you're waiting for, Libras, I'm setting intentions for you right now. Listen up. If you've been patiently waiting for some kind of a breakthrough at your workplace, it's coming. If you've been patiently waiting for some kind of a breakthrough in your health issues, it's coming. And if you've been patiently waiting for something related with money and it's taken a long time, it is coming. Do not give up. Now, let's take another message for you. Your health, career, and finances. For Libra, please, spirit. God just wants to come out. You know, Libra has this energy of waiting patiently. I know that waiting and this is a long journey. Somebody has gone through a lot here, whether it's about your health or it's about your work and finances. Somebody has also gone through something legal. And you know, with this card of a long journey, it's a card of Capricorn. And again, it's a card of dealing with authorities, government. You know, that marathon where you're tired. It's been a very long journey and Saturn is a very hard taskmaster and he rules Capricorn. I don't know if it's been a long legal journey for you. Just somebody here, I get that feeling of being exhausted. Don't give up yet. I know you want There's success. And this is success in love. But this card talks about success in everything, whether it's about love, which I've, all, I've put up your reading for love. Watch that. If it's about your health, success. Recovery of good health, success. Money, success. Career, success. Success. And you know what this card of waiting? If some of you have been waiting <clears throat> for a job opportunity to come your way, success. If some of you have been fighting a legal battle for a long time, success. Do not worry, Libras. Please, okay? Banish those worries from your head. Now, another message for you for my Libras, for their health, career, money. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Current. Excellent. Okay. Talking to a divine feminine here. It's going to be a water sign. Um, going to receive some good news. And I think you're going to move to a better community. One where, you know, your child is going to be taken care of. A bigger community. I'm setting intentions for you. You're going to receive good news. I also feel somebody's going to receive good news from their community. I don't know for what. Maybe, you know, you're going to get some something from your community. But I, I feel there's a Libra here who's going to move to a bigger community, as in a bigger housing, what can I say, villas, or um, a better community for you and your family. And so be it, Libras. Now, I want to take a few cards. From my angels of abundance, okay? For your current help, career, and finances. Libras, please, spirit. My Libras, please, spirit. Excellent. Organize for success. Libras, some of you are just very haphazard, whether you're looking for a job or you're looking for something regarding to your health as well. Organize for organize better. You know, whether it's planning your day better so that you have enough time, you're about balance. Whether it's for work or for play, maybe some of you are not organizing your day well, which is leading to health problems, maybe stress, you know, irritable bowel syndrome. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Just take care of that and organize your day. Also organize your priorities and put yourself first. Dreams of abundance. Please dream big, as big as you can, Libras. There's no tax. It's free. Now, I want you to remove any... Um, Poverty mindsets that you've accumulated over the years. You know, my family has never done this. I, no, you will. I am setting intentions for you. You will break that barrier, Libra. You've shown up on this dimension to break that barrier. You're going to be someone who's setting goals for the rest of your generations. 
dream big, dream of abundance, believe you already have it, and that's what you shall experience. Last but not least, obstacles are being removed. See that word blocks? That's that mountain. It's going to be removed. And for me, this is always Archangel Michael with that sword. He's going to cut those blocks. He's going to whack those cords. Whatever is stopping your abundance flow, your abundance of health coming towards you, vitality, he's going to remove those obstacles. And if there's somebody who's creating blockages in their path, in your path, God help them. So do not worry, okay? Whatever is blocking you, let them create mountains for you. He's going to come and whack them. Somebody, I'm talking to somebody whose loyalty has been tested and they're very upset. I feel that energy. Don't worry. <clears throat> You're going to come up shining. So let's move on to your future health. Um, money, career messages, Libra. This is for your future, okay? Let's see what I can tell you. Libras, please, spirit. Future. Release. Some of you may have to bring something to an end. Now, you see the graveyard here. This is Scorpio energy, the death card. It's about transformation. You may have to release something that is not working for you anymore. I don't know what this is. It could also be bad habits, Libras. And then, you know, I have the card of prayer and a glass with, you know, I don't know if somebody here has to release some drinking habits. Just putting this out there for you. But you could have released something, Libras. You have to release something. Uh, this could be an old habit that is causing health problems. This could be an old toxic work situation, which is not allowing you to grow. This talks about praying. And, you know, when you say prayer, it talks about setting intentions. You know, and I see this. I don't know why I feel some of you could be starting a restaurant. I'm just putting this out there. Or could start some business with food. Your prayers have been heard. You know, you'll be surprised that what you're releasing is an answer to your prayers. I mean, I know you don't, you will not see it like that, but I'm promising you this. Don't be fooled by what is being forced to end in your life. It is your answered prayer. And I also feel someone here has to change something in their food and drinking habits. Just take cognizance of this, please, in your future. Grow. There's something that was thwarting, blocking your growth. It's coming in. Once you release something, you change your food habits, you change something in your diet and you change. I don't know what is toxic, Libra. You know. And you know, you've set intentions for that. But you're scared of releasing it. The person is standing like this. Don't be scared. That release, that which you let go is your answered prayer. And I promise you this. Don't be fooled. Don't be scared. Somebody here is going into some food business for sure. For sure. I don't know who this is. Let me know. Hey, send me some samples. You know, I'm such a big foodie. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Libra. Congratulations. Some of you are going to experience a huge growth in your career. So be it. It's coming for you. Somebody could be literally starting a restaurant or organic foods. Awesome. Super business to start. Okay. Take some little Normans, okay, for you. Your future energy. My God, that mountain has come up again. Capricorn. You are dealing with some kind of a government or a huge institution or some hierarchy which is causing blocks for you. And you know what? You're going to get the wisdom to get over it. <clears throat> it's the owls. This is about pure wisdom. This is about messengers. Birds are messengers, yeah? This is a secret. Maybe it's something that's going to be revealed to you. I'm also going to tell you something. This is the totem of Goddess Lakshmi, okay, in India. And it's about wealth. Libra, this is a very good omen for money coming your way. Huge amounts of money. Now, if some of you are struggling with something which is health-related, and it's like a mountain you've been climbing, I mean, it's really been hard. Don't worry. You're going to get the wisdom to crack it, the breakthrough. All right? Do not worry. And this wisdom is going to come to you organically. You know, with the card of the owls, it's a nocturnal bird. Pay attention to your dreams. They could hold answers. Write them down, yeah. Whatever those words are, and they'll make sense to you at some point. Promise you this. Try it and let me know. You are going to be in a partnership. This, for me, is my card of transition. Whatever you release, your next partnership, Libras, 
is going to be with somebody who wants to nest with you for life. And you see that little, you know, the sunlight there, it's going to birth a new project for you. Somebody is falling pregnant here. This is about pregnancy. Eh? Congratulations. Yeah. You know, and the stocks are about delivery, safe delivery. They're also about duty and commitment. I know somebody's loyalty has been tested here. And they're very, very judicious and, you know, uh, worthy and filled with integrity. And this is all about, you know, the stocks go in the morning, they search for food, forage, they come back. It's about, it, you can depend on them. Whoever is coming towards you for business is somebody who's dependable and they want to nest with you for life and you have the potential to create. Growth has already shown up. There's a potential here to grow this business. So congratulations. Now, if this is for health and somebody is pregnant, expect a safe delivery. And I feel so happy saying this to you. The stocks do bring the child, right? Now, take another message for your future. Good health. Good health. Do not worry about, you know, health problems. You're going to find the wisdom to get over them. Guys, there is somebody here who's pregnant. I'm so happy to see these cards. I just, I just feel so happy to see these cards. Yeah, Libra, bless you. Yeah, have the card of the tree. Yeah, there's a tree of life. Somebody is growing their family, setting roots. The stalk coming out. This card of growth coming out, and then the tree. Somebody is going to grow a money tree here, and someone is going to get into a business where the whole family is involved. It's going to be a family business. I don't know if it deals with trees or orchards or vineyards or organic food. It's got something to do with that as well. Farms. But this has the potential to create health. Look, this is a card of good health. Don't worry about your health or that of anybody in your generation or in your, in your family tree. Whatever you're creating has a potential to grow and grow and grow some more. It also has a potential to create abundance for your whole family tree. Libra, congratulations. Yeah. Makes me so happy to say this to you. Some of you could be buying a brand new home. Congratulations, Libras. Bless you, Libras. And last but not least, you have a child. I am talking to somebody who is going to have a blessed, pleasant, happy, peaceful, safe pregnancy and delivery. And I'm setting intentions for you, whoever this is. Bless you. There's a brand new baby coming into your midst. Congrats. Also, this is the fifth house, okay, for me. Leo energy. It's about your pet projects. Your pet project has the potential to grow and grow and freaking grow. It's going to spread its roots, its roots all over the world. It is going to have the potential to create abundance for your whole family and the next generation is going to give you enough wealth to buy your home. And I'm setting this intention for you. Your pet project, whatever is your baby, is going to have a safe birth, whether it's for work or a real baby. And it has the potential to blossom into something super abundant. Claim this, Libras. It's yours. So be it. Make some cards from Make It Protect. Libras, future health, money, career, gift. Now, repeat after me. The gift of good health is coming to you. The gift of a brand new baby is coming to you. The gift of a new job is coming to you. The gift of new opportunities to create money is coming to you. The gift of vitality, health is coming to you. The gift of recovery is coming to you. Libra, grab it. It's yours. I'm talking to a divine masculine here. God bless you, yeah? If you're going to be a father, congratulations. If you're going to start your own business, congratulations. Whatever is coming in, it's a gift. And I'm telling you that release is your answered prayer. Go back to my first message, okay, for your future love. Success in love. Now, I'm not talking about love here. This card is one of the best cards in the deck because it talks about success in every freaking thing. I've set intentions for your health, for your money, and your career. Success. Congratulations. I'll take another message. And then I'll take Angel of Abundance cards for you. Super. Now. 
For those of you who feel that you don't have any kind of work or hiring, you know, where somebody you've been, you've been let off, you've been released from work, you're in despair. Now, there's also a card of somebody who's drunk too much. Just take care of something that you're doing in excess, please. You know, I'm just putting this out there, huh, Libra. And also, if you have headaches and stuff, migraines, just be careful. It could be something in your diet. Now, this says not hiring. Really, this could be an unexpected change. Now, this could involve you moving, okay, cities you know, getting in your car and moving to another town or a city. Unexpected income. Unexpected. Expect a pay raise. Expect suddenly to receive some kind of a huge grant or a loan. I'm also setting intentions for those of you who have been wanting a loan or, you know, wanting a grant or wanting something from an institution where you, you know, need their permission. It's coming. Your next employer is going to be somebody who's extremely generous and very wealthy. Congratulations. This is coming towards you, Libra. Claim it. Now, I'm going to take some cards from my Angels of Abundance for you. And then I will end the reading with my Angel Answer cards. Okay. Now, this is for your future help, money, and career. let go of guilt. I don't know what you feel guilty about. I don't know, Libra. I don't know if you feel guilty that you sabotage your own health every time. Just let go of that guilt because when you are vibrating from guilt, you know, you are creating more of it. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. That's what this says. Because your angels, God, creator, your higher self, whoever you believe in, they love you unconditionally. Don't berate yourself. It hurts them when you hurt yourself with your words. And, you know, guilt. This tells me that you know what you're doing is wrong. But perhaps you're finding it hard to release it. Do your best, Libra. And if you need help, please ask for it. But don't be in this guilt, you know, in this feeling of being, you know, blaming yourself. You did what you knew with what information you had. Now that you have more information, you will do better. And I'm setting this intention for you. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. If some of you who have wanted to do something charitable, go ahead and do it. Go and donate your clothes, you, you know, food, money, whatever. And I promise you, it's going to come back to you a million fold. That's the spiritual currency and the real currency that you're going to earn. Block out distractions, whether it's, you know, people who are stopping you, bad habits, block it out. If there are people, block Libra, put yourself first. I want you to succeed. Block those losers out because they are complacent. You know, you have places to go, man. And, you know, as you keep ascending and you keep going higher, you'll see people fall off your vibration and that's fine because they do not want to do the work you want to. When they do the work, they'll reach you. Until then, block them out. Stay focused, Libra. Stay focused. I'm telling you, there's something amazing coming your way. Now, I hope you liked your messages. I love them. I'm going to end your reading with some angel oops, angel answer cards for the whole energy of your health, career, and money. You ready? Let's go, Libra. Libra, Libra. Card. Okay. Choose a new direction. Go back to the first message. Release. Choose a new direction. Libra, you've been doing the same old, same old. Do something different. Do something different. You're ready. You're ready. You're absolutely ready. The universe has spoken. There's no need to worry. There's no need to worry. Even about your health. Do not worry. Don't, Libra. Your money, don't worry at all. Not even about your career. Do not worry, Libra. Big, happy, changes. This is your outcome. Take a good look at this card. Assimilate it. Breathe it. Smell it. Eat it. <laughs> be it. This is coming towards you. And I'm setting intentions that this is what is happening in your life. Okay. Whether it's for your health, whether it's for your money, whether it's for your career. Big, happy changes. So my darling Libras, these were your messages for your current and your future career, health, and money reading. Don't forget to watch your love reading that I have already posted. Like, share, 
subscribe. It helps my little channel grow. And I would be so grateful if you were a part of my little family on YouTube. All I do, honestly, apart from my readings, is set intentions for you to succeed because you have no idea. <laughs> Even if you take one message from my readings and it helps you, it makes me happy. And when you write down and tell me, you know what? I did this. <laughs> that brings me a lot of joy. So I can't wait to come back and do another reading for you. I don't know why I felt emotional. But until then, I just want to say I love you. Namaste. And remember, you are loved. You are guarded. You are guided. You are always protected, Libra. Have a wonderful day. Bye.